Welcome to the High Tech Redneck YouTube channel where we demystify the complex world of trading strategies and stock market trends. Whether you're a seasoned trader or a newbie just dipping your toes into the vast ocean of stock trading, our channel aims to provide you with clear, concise, and actionable information. We're all about helping you navigate the financial markets with confidence. So sit back, relax, and let us guide you through the maze of trading strategies and indicators. And remember, if you find our content useful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated. We regularly post new videos on various trading topics. Also, check out our website, hightechredneck.com, for more in-depth information, resources, and exclusive content. Together, let's unlock the secrets of successful trading. Have you ever wondered how successful traders navigate the complex world of the stock market? The secret lies in having a well-structured trading plan. It's like a roadmap that guides them through the unpredictable terrain of the stock market. A key element in many of these plans is the use of exponential moving averages or EMAs. These EMAs serve as entry and exit signals helping traders to pinpoint the best moments to make their moves. Imagine being able to read the market trends to know when to leap in and when to step back, all guided by these EMAs. It's like having a secret code to unlock the mysteries of the stock market. But remember, every trader's journey is unique. What works for one may not work for another. It's all about finding the strategy that suits your style and risk tolerance. Let's delve into the specifics of this uh, sample trading plan, shall we? First, let's talk about long positions and how to identify entry signals. In trading, we refer to a long position when a trader buys an asset with the expectation that its price will rise. Now, how do we identify the right moment to jump into such a position? Well, the first criteria we need to meet is that we should be above the 200 exponential moving average or EMA. This is a widely used tool in trading that helps identify the overall trend direction. If we are above the 200 EMA, it means we are in an upwards trend and that is the best case for entering a long position. Next, we look for one of two entry signals. The first is a big bullish candle closing above the 9 EMA. A bullish candle signals buying pressure and if it closes above the 9 EMA, it signifies that the upward momentum is strong. The second entry signal could be a pullback and rebound off the 9 EMA. A pullback is a temporary reversal of the current trend, which in this case is upward. This is often seen as a buying opportunity as prices are expected to bounce back or rebound off the 9 EMA. So, to sum it up, for long positions we need to be above the 200 EMA and then look for either a bullish candle closing above the 9 EMA or a pullback and rebound off the 9 EMA. Now that we know when to enter, how do we know when to exit? Uh, exiting a trade at the right time is just as important as entering it. For long positions, the exit signal comes into play when a candle closes below the 20-day exponential moving average, also known as the 20 EMA. This occurrence is a potential marker of an upcoming reversal in the upward trend. It's like a red flag suggesting that it may be a good time to close out your position and secure your gains. However, it's essential to exercise patience. Wait for the candle to fully close below the 20 EMA before making your move. This way, you can ensure that the exit signal is confirmed and not just a temporary fluctuation. Remember, in trading, timing is everything, and acting hastily can sometimes do more harm than good. It's all about striking a balance between strategy, patience, and instinct. But what if we're looking at short positions? Short positions have their own set of rules, just as we did with long positions. Uh, we need to establish the criteria for entering a short position. To begin, we need to be trading below the 200 exponential moving average, or EMA. This sets the stage for a potential downward trend. 
Now that we're set up, we look for one of two entry signals. The first is a big bearish candle closing below the 9 EMA. This is a strong signal suggesting that the price is moving downward. The second signal is a, a bit subtler. We're you know, looking for a pullback and rebound off the 9 EMA. This indicates that the price tried to rise but was pushed back down, showing bearish strength. These entry signals are not a guarantee of success, but they do give us a statistical edge. Remember, trading is all about playing the probabilities. By adhering to these criteria, we align ourselves with the most likely outcome. Now, once we're in a short position, we need to be vigilant. The market is a volatile beast and can turn on a dime. That's why it's so important to have a predetermined exit strategy in place. We'll cover that in the next scene, but for now, remember this. Entering a short position is only half the battle. And of course, knowing when to exit a short position is crucial. The exit strategy for short positions is the mirror image of that for long positions. When trading short positions, the exit signal you're looking out for is a close of a candle above the 20 EMA. This indicates a potential reversal in the downward trend, suggesting it may be time to exit the position. However, just like with long positions, it's crucial to wait for the candle to close above the 20 EMA to confirm the exit signal. Now let's talk about risk management. In trading, uh, setting a stop loss is like having a safety net. It's there to catch you when a trade goes south. Ideally, you want to place your stop loss at the previous swing high on entry, covering all bases. Maintaining a consistent position size is another key aspect of risk management. This involves determining your risk threshold and multiplying it by your account size. For instance, if you have $30,000 to trade stocks and you're on the conservative side, you'll risk $300. If you're more of a risk taker, you might risk up to $600. Then you take the amount you're willing to risk and divide it by the stop loss on your entry. So if your stop loss is 50 cents, you can buy 600 shares on the conservative side and 1200 shares if you're more daring. But let's not forget about the golden rule of trading. Never risk more than one to 2% of your account size per trade. This way, even if you face a string of losses, you won't wipe out your account. You'll still be in the game, ready to seize the next opportunity. Remember, a good trading plan is adaptable and should be tested and tweaked to suit your personal trading style and risk tolerance. It's all about finding what works best for you, refining your strategy, and staying disciplined. After all, trading isn't a sprint, it's a marathon.